Thank you, Mr. President. At the outset, my delegation adds its voice to the opinions expressed in the letter sent uh, yesterday uh, uh, by the uh, chairman of the coordinating committee of the non-aligned movement uh, to the president of the Security Council. Mr. President, the Security Council is debating uh, this issue at a time when Syria is being visited with terrorist acts following the trafficking of arms and fighters in order to destabilize uh, and harm security, destroy public and private property, and undertake operations against both civilians and uh, militaries. My country, through dozens of letters, uh, both uh, uh, to the Sec uh, Secretary General and to your August Council, has uh, underlined uh, the threat that uh, the trafficking of arms and combatants uh, through borders with neighboring countries represents uh, for uh, the uh, stability and security of uh, Syria. Yesterday, we sent a letter to your August Council containing uh, the names of a number of detainees of Arab nationalities, most of whom uh, uh, implemented terrorist acts in Syria, whereas others uh, trafficked weapons into uh, Syria. They all entered Syria illegally uh, through borders with neighboring states. The uh, Security Council should send a clear message uh, to those who stand behind uh, such acts, both states and groups, to cease and desist. Mr. President, my delegation today heard the statement by the representative of Israel. I should like today to state that such accusations and lies cannot replace the truth that is clear to all, being that Israel is the main source of instability in the region because of its continuing occupation of Arab land and the Syrian Golan. It is shameful indeed for the representative of Israel to accuse others instead of apologizing to the international community for an abhorrent history of aggression, including the fact that uh, the Israeli uh, army used millions of cluster bombs against southern Lebanon on the very same day that uh, this August Council adopted Resolution 1701 demanding an end of Israeli aggression against Lebanon in 2006. Mr. President, it is known that uh, the major traffickers uh, uh, of uh, uh, conventional weapons in the world, particularly illicit weapons, are retired Israeli military officers working for Israeli weapons manufacturers. It is uh, uh, clear that Israel's involvement in the illicit trafficking of weapons uh, in the world encourages international uh, terrorism and protects both uh, drugs, uh, traffickers, uh, and uh, 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 secessionist uh, movements uh, uh, in the world. Indeed, international gangs led by some uh, Israeli uh, 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 officials uh, uh, are now uh, trafficking uh, uh, children's uh, uh, organs. Mr. President, uh, acts of, uh, inter of international aggression and piracy by Israel cannot be hidden uh, before the international community. Thank you. There are no